Hello, Jonathan Linderos with Kativ Technologies. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can use view representations in an Autodesk assembly to control component visibility, component color, and camera angle. So let's get started by looking at this little carburetor that I've got open inside of Inventor. I'm going to go to my browser and look at the representations folder, and if I expand that down to the view representations, which I'm indicating with my cursor, you can see that there's a master, a default, these are both the default that come with Inventor, and then there's one called Blue Anodized, which I've already created. If I double click on Blue Anodized, you can see that several components turn their visibility off, the carburetor body changed color, and the camera angle changed. So this is great, I can work on this component, restore that state at a click of a mouse, but let's go ahead and let's create a new one. I'm going to go back to default, and what I'm going to focus on is this needle right here which I'm moving my cursor over. To get started, I'm actually going to go back to my view rep where I'm picking right now, right click, and choose new. This creates a new view rep, which I can rename, and I'm going to go ahead and just give it the name Polished Aluminum Needle. Now I can go ahead and set my visibility, so I'll select my components by left clicking while holding the shift key, and then I'll right click and choose isolate to leave those components visible. That's step one. Now I'm going to change my color to aluminum polished, and that goes ahead and changes the color of those components. And now let's say I wanted to look at these components from a specific angle, so I'm going to zoom in to the position I want and just leave it right there. Now I want an inventor to remember this, so the last thing I want to do is go back to the view representation in the browser, right click, and lock it. When I choose lock, any changes I make in the future won't affect this view rep unless I go back and unlock it. So now you can see if I click on default, we see one thing, blue anodize, another, and then if we go to polished aluminum, we see the third angle that we created. In the future, I'll show, create some more videos and show you how you can use these in a drawing, for example. But for now, take a look at view reps. You can do a lot more than you think. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and we'll see you the next time.